Hi all, I'm very excited to announce an update for the FOSSA, the free and open source Super ATM. It's uh, easy, an easy build. Uh, we're using the WT32, which is an ESP32 based microcontroller, which has a nice touch screen functionality. We've added a bell acceptor, NV10 USB. We've got the coin acceptor. We're going to be using a box, a 12 volt power, bolt power source, USB cable, a terminal block so we don't have to do any soldering, a 12 volt power source, and a male to female jumper cables to connect all together. When it comes to the bill acceptor and coin acceptor, you should be able to buy them pre-configured to your local currency. But if you can't, then there are guides in the repo on how to configure them. Right, let's put this thing together. This WT32 really is a lovely board. First, we're going to uh, set the dips, the third dip switch on the coin acceptor too high before we forget. That will send integers to the microcontroller instead of pulses we have to count. Then we're going to start connecting up the bell acceptor. We're going to connect the RX and TX pins, which is pin 32, 33 on the board, and we're going to connect that to pin 1 and 5 on the bell acceptor. Now we're going to get that terminal block and snap off four of them and three, four for the ground and then three for the live wire. We're going to add a live wire to the bill acceptor and connect it to our terminal block. We're going to do the same for the ground wire as well. This really does save a bunch of soldering, it's much easier. Now we're going to take that 12 volt to 5 volt power converter and connect it to our ter two terminal blocks. That way we can use a just a normal USB cable to power our microcontroller. We're going to connect a ground to the ESP32, the WT32. And then connect that to the ground terminal block because the bell acceptor and coin acceptor, in order for them to receive, take, send information to the microcontroller, they need a shared ground. We'll connect to pin 5 on the coin acceptor and then plug that into pin 2 on the microcontroller. This is a coin inter, this is an interrupt pin. So um, when someone's receiving a payment, it turns off the coin acceptor so people can't put any more money in. Then we're going to connect serial out, which is pin 2 on the coin acceptor to pin 4 on the microcontroller and our power cables as well into our 12 volt terminal blocks. Now we're going to get the terminal um, block adapter for our 12 volt power supply. And we're going to connect the, a live wire and a ground wire, which we will screw into those terminal blocks to power all of our devices. In order to power all the devices, we will need to cut some wire and strip it so we can make a connection between those separate terminals in our terminal block. We'll plug in the live wire from the power source and then loop over some wire between each terminal block. And we'll do the same for the ground as well. Now we can plug in our device. And if we power it up, we should be able to hear the bell acceptor, coin acceptor turn on, and the screen should also turn on and then it works. Now go to the repo and download it. Unzip. You'll need to install the Arduino IDE. Once you've installed the Arduino IDE, next you'll need to install the ESP32 boards, which basically just means copying this URL and then putting it in the preferences in, your, in the Arduino IDE which means it can then go fetch the SP32 boards from the boards manager and we can install those boards into our Arduino IDE. So go to board manager 
and then search for SP32 should turn up um, and then you can install it from there. Copy the libraries from the project folder and put them in your Arduino libraries folder on your root drive, your root folder. Then you're going to uh, select the right port and select ESP32 dev module, upload it onto the device. Once it's uploaded, if you press the home screen, it will launch the access portal. So there's two parts to the ATM. There's the hardware ATM itself, but then there's also the software which you know it needs to pull funds from. Um, and we're going to use LNBits for that. So we're going to make an LNBits wallet and then go to the LNURL devices extension. And then in that extension, we're going to make a ATM. Select the wallet we want it to pull funds from. Um, our currency, which we're going to be using, because remember this ATM is offline. And we can also put in a percentage for charging people to use the service. Copy the link it gives you. Go to the access portal on your Wi-Fi router. Paste the link in. Put in a new password so no one else can access this access portal. Then put in your coin denominations. If you're not using a coin acceptor, don't bother. And same for the bill acceptor. But if you are, you have to put the denominations in, in here separated by comma. And then uh, also a max amount which someone can withdraw and the percentage which you're going to be charging people. Save that onto the device. Once it's saved, unplug the microcontroller and then plug it back in. And hopefully we should see the Fiat for SATs screen. It works. I've been wanting to bring out this update for the FOSSA for a while. It just works so well. It's so easy to put together. The bill acceptor works well. The coin acceptor works well. It's reliable and it's just brilliant uh, so if you make one and you know you want to chat about it come to our telegram group t.me backslash makerbits also you can you know obviously check out the makerbits youtube channel um, and uh, yeah if you build one good luck thanks for watching tweet about it talk about it and yeah cheers